So, hello and welcome back. And in this video, I want to teach you something about CSS and especially CSS selectors in this video. Um, with CSS, we can style our website. As we have seen last time, we have made a very simple the content of a very simple web shop where we can here click to buy an item and so on. But before we can style something on this website, we need to know how we can select elements to style for this website. In CSS, we always have a selector in um, at the beginning of a style, let's say. And then in curly braces, brackets, we have the style description on how to style um, these elements. As we can see here, we have two plates, for example. This would be plate text, and then we need to have a selector to select these, so we can apply and style to them. So in this video, I will just walk you through a very good website which is this here. Um, this teaches you how to use selectors. So on the right hand side, we always have a description, but um, to select um, a tag, we just might write the name of the tag and then any, yeah, any tags with that name will be selected. And yeah, same here. Then to just select an ID, we have this pound sign. Then we can select childs with just having a space in between two selectors. Same goes for um, anything that is a child of an ID, for example. And classes can be selected with this dot right here. So we can just write this to select them. Then we have a wildcard selector. This selects everything, then space to denote that we want to select a child of type orange and this orange should be it should have the class small so we can select that same here did i write that wrong no pento like that and we can also select multiple things with a comma separated we can select everything with the wildcard star <laughs> then we can select every possible child of something also with the wildcard. Then we can have every element that follows an element directly. Then any element that follows Then the direct child could be denoted like this. Yeah, and so on. It's very simple. I would recommend you to um, go through this website also. Um, it's pretty simple.
and you should get the hang of the CSS notation fairly quickly so you can write um, you can write selectors also very fast. Yeah, the nth of type and nth child are very flexible. For example, we can have a very mathematical notation here to select every second and start at third and things like that. Oh, I think I used the wrong selector there. Um, I think I want it wants me to use uh, only of type. Um, I'm sorry. We can also negate uh, selectors with the not. Want everything that is not small, any apple that is not small. And this one is also uh, an important one. Um, we can also select for attributes. So, for example, the for attribute. also select the exact values for this property. You can also select what it should start with. And of course we can also select what it should end with. I'm sorry. And if it's anywhere with the wildcard again, and with that, we have completed the CSS selectors. So the CSS thingy here, and this this is uh, already everything I wanted to show you in this video. And in the next video, we will apply that to select elements from our webshop and style it. And yeah, see you next time.